All right, welcome to Random Guitar Battles, where we put guitarist names into a big glass bowl, shake it up, draw out two names, and then I talk about them for a minute, and you guys vote and tell me which one you think was better. And this is matchup number 16, and it's Jimmy Page versus Ace Freely. So Ace Freely has had a bit of bad luck here in drawing against Page, and the bowl's been up already for like an hour before I started this video, and I don't think Ace even had maybe just like one vote. So if you're an Ace Freely fan, you might wanna jump over to the poll and show him some love. So anyway, I'm gonna to touch on three points for each of these guitars really quick, cause do they really need a recapping? And then you guys can go vote in the polls. So with Page, first thing you gotta say about him is when it comes to the guitar, he is a jack of all trades. He can play acoustic, he can play electric, he can play lead, he can play rhythm, he can play soft, he can play hard, he can play blues, he can play jazz, he can play rock, he can play rockabilly, he he can play country guy's got it all so the versatility of page comes from his studio musician years as well as his overall dedication to the guitar the second thing to say about page is his imagination whether it comes to finding new ways to record the guitar new ways to write songs with the guitar new ways to show off the guitar in a live setting he just has sort of a limitless imagination and a weird ability to bring it all out in a way that excites people the third thing I'd say about him is he's just really good at understanding the soul of the guitar, the spontaneity, the electric infectious excitement of just hearing a guitar play. And that goes to the acoustic guitar as well. There's something exciting about the vibrating strings of a guitar, whether they're amplified or not. And I think Paige's identity as a musician starts with that understanding. Now, for Ace Freely, number one, he has the most hummable guitar solos of any hard rock guitarist including Paige. I think Freely is not nearly as a versatile guitarist as Jimmy but he's just as good at Jimmy as coming up with a hooky solo so that would be number one. Number two I think that he captured the British blues expression right that was coming up through the 60s but he turned it into an american expression and he he was the first person to really do that so if you think about it the british blues guys are coming off of the uh, robert johnson bb king you know skip james and all this but then when they feed back to the american guitarists you've got translating that english style into a um, distinctively american style my third thing about ace would be he's a really good songwriter he uh, whether you're talking about shock me or rocket ride or rip it out you know speeding back to my baby you know his solo album is full of really good songwriting and as is his work with kiss all the way through i think that ace was probably even a better songwriter than what we were able to get out of him due to his lifestyle choices i think there's a bit of the keith richards element going on so when you factor all those things in ace is a formidable force as a musician and he deserves a lot of respect so those are my three points on each one of these guitarists now you guys comment in the section below remember to like and subscribe but most importantly vote in the poll thanks a lot